Hi guys, it's Ginger. I am here with the March Jukebox unboxing. Before I dig into this new box, I'm going to give you some mini reviews of the two CDs that I received in the February box. Now, the first one is Laura Marie, Last of the Ones. Here's what it looks like. Now, I read the card and everything when I did the opening, but then I didn't look at it again, <laughs> so I forgot what it said, um, which was good because then I listened to it without, see, that's what she looks like. So I listened to it without, you know, being, I don't know, whatever, tainted or whatever. Anyway, so when I was listening to it, I was sitting there going, who does she sound like? Who does she sound like? She sounds like Natalie Merchant. And when I came home that evening and read the card, it said that um, her distinct creative voice continues the tradition of iconic artists like Nora Jones and Natalie Merchant. Her voice sounds like Natalie Merchant. Um, slightly. These are all very melancholy songs. Um, this is not your happy-go-lucky songs. <laughs> <laughs> and then I read on the thing that, that it's supposed to be like love lost and you know all that kind of fun stuff. I dropped my card. So yeah this is this I enjoyed it. Um, she has a really good voice. It's really good music. Um, it's not something that I would necessarily reach for but if you enjoy that sort of melancholy you know broody type music. Uh, you'll probably enjoy this. The next one is uh, from a group called Canvas People and uh, the album is called Sirens. Um, the, there's not a picture of them. Oh, there's a picture on this card. There's a picture of them on this card. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Anyway, um, the beginning part of this, because this is a nine song uh, CD, uh, the beginning portion, mm, 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 it's not bad. It's not my taste in music. Um, they're on this card, it says that they, they're not just another Americana band. They're kind of folky and things like that. Um, there's some, there's a little bit of poppiness to at least the first seven songs. Uh, the last two songs, especially the last song, which is called Let's Go to War, I really enjoyed those. Those were um, not completely acoustic, but a little more on the acoustic side. Um, and the singer sounds a lot like Steve Earle to me. If you have if you know anything about Steve Earle. His, the singer's voice sounds a little bit like Steve Earle in terms of his delivery and his tone and stuff like that. So let's open up the... Oh, and I will list um, the information about these two artists that I have reviewed. I'll list their information below. And so let's open up the March Jukebox. Alright, and I'll leave information, well, I didn't think it would be good if I opened up all the sides, wouldn't it? Um, I will leave the information about Jukebox down below as well if you're interested in subscribing. Alright, so here's what it looks like. Do -do -do -do. So, we have the card here, which which talks about the featured artist. The featured artist is The Invisible World. It says, the latest release from KC Quartet, The Invisible World, rolls out a blend of alternative rock that's reminiscent of the Tempe sound from the mid-90s. Think Gin Blossoms, The Refreshments, Dead Hot Workshop but also comparable to current artists like Band of Horses or Dawes. Welcome to the Invisible World. 
is solid rock and roll with just a touch of West Texas country in it. Hmm, cool. So here it is. That's what the band, hello, that's what the band looks like. Uh, it says on here, featured items. Okay, so it looks like the theme of this is South by Southwest, which just wrapped up here um, in Texas, well, in Austin, Texas, which is from where I live. It's, I guess if you're looking at me, it's probably, anyway. Um, it says, this month we've added some items to celebrate the annual South by Southwest event held in Austin, Texas every spring. Um, a limited edition, signed and autographed, um, signed and autographed, that's the same thing. Limited edition, signed and numbered metallic photograph of South by Southwest official artist Cooper Gaimans. All right. That must be this one. There it is right there. It's a print. It's got somebody's eyelash on the back of it. Or somebody's cat hair. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> anyway, so um, there's the print. That's pretty cool. It's got a metallic look to it. Um... So he must be like the official photographer when they mean official artist. He must be like the photographer because, oh no, let's see. This is Cooper Gaiman's. And it looks like I got 13 of 25. Is what the number is. All right, the next item. Oh, and here's the card that you always get a card that says thank you on it and it has all of uh, Jukebox's info on it. The next item is, there are other things besides what they have listed on here because it also says the Naked Armadillo Extravaganza button and wristband. The Naked Armadillo is an official South by Southwest showcase. So, here's the the armband. That must be... That must... I don't know. Here's the button. I don't know what that is. I've never been to South by Southwest and it's changed so much in the last 20, 25 years. I was... I had wanted to go years and years ago when it was just music. Now it's music and um, film and interactive. It's a whole big thing. It's a couple of weeks worth of stuff that they have in Austin every year. It's, um, it's a little too big for me now to want to go. It's entirely too much stuff happening. I would have preferred it when it was little, little just music. All right, the next one says all music included in this month is from current or former South by Southwest artists. So that's pretty cool. And then they include some other stuff too. All right, so here's a koozie. The Invisible World koozie. This is from the featured artist, The Invisible World. So that's cool. You couldn't use another koozie. All right, the next item. Oh, this is cool. This is a magnet. This is a guitar shaped magnet. Very cool. It's the Les Paul SG Standard introduced in 1961. Very cool. That will go on my refrigerator as soon as I'm done here. All right, the next item is Rockstar Hard Candy. That's what it looks like. I've never heard of that before. Let's take a bite. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, it looks, it's kind of other shaped like guitars. It's almost like, they almost look like sweet tarts. Mm-hmm. That's what they are basically, it's like sweet tarts. 
Very good. All right, the next item is the featured artist, The Invisible World, their CD called Welcome to the Invisible World. So I'm pretty excited to try this. It is a five... One of these days, I will learn to unplug my phone. Just people trying to sell stuff. Interrupting my video making. The phone is now unplugged. <clears throat> Hopefully I'll remember to plug it back in. All right, so. All right. This is from The Invisible World, the featured artist. So I'm pretty excited. This is a five song CD. Okay. I think somebody's cat has been laying in these boxes. Sorry. I just hope nobody's allergic to cat. So, um, <clears throat> anyway, this is the featured artist. So I'm looking forward to listening to this because it says that it's reminiscent of mid-90s rock with some West Texas country in it. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, the next one. There's cat fur all over this stuff. Anyway. Um, the next one is Matt Adler Stages. This is CD. Uh, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's pretty cool. It's not the featured artist, so they don't have any information about this one, but, um, I'm looking forward to listening to this one very much. All right. <clears throat> the next item is Runaway Dorothy. The weight. There we go. And this is an 11 song CD. Like I said, that it's not one of the, it's not one of the featured artists. So I don't have any information about the genre or anything like that. But um, that's the last CD in this box. So all three of these CDs I will give um, mini reviews on next month, just like I did in this video from the ones last month. All right, the last two items are, this is cute. It's a little post-it notepad that has music notes on it. That's pretty cool. And then the last item is a little pin that says, Peace, Love, Music. Very cute. I really, I've, I've really been enjoying this box. So that's everything in this box. I've really been enjoying it. Um, really looking forward to all of the um, the different music that I receive, um, learning about some new bands. Um, I, I, I like that this is a South by Southwest theme. So these are all people who have um, either participated this year or have in the past participated in South by Southwest. And like I said, this is, uh, South by Southwest is an annual... Um, it's now music, movies, and interactive festival that they have every spring in Austin, Texas, which is, you know, a couple hours away from here, from where I live. So, that's fun. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you can come back and sit for a spell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.